Hello and welcome. I hope you are doing great. Uh, today I thought that we would tie a type of uh, Sunray Shadowfly, uh, which is a very light tube fly and a white underwing and a black top wing. So let's tie a version, a variant of it. Uh, here I've started with uh, Fitz tubing in uh, medium and it's uh, uh, phosphorescent so it's glow in the dark. So I can use this fly 24 hours a day. 24-7, how do you say it? I think 24-7. So and here I have the fluorescent orange 12-0 SSS thread to get a little bit of color in the front too. So I just tie this in with a few turns. <coughs> And leave it here. Cut away the waste. Cut away the waste. And then we start with a white wing. Here I have some quite stiff strands, which is good to have to hold up the the black softer wing on top. Just brush away the fluff. and take away the shorter strands if we have any and then it's time to taper this a little bit thumb and index finger spread it well and then just pull in the middle that looks quite good and then we will try to put this on top here and I will cut this off now a clean uh, edge like this because I don't want to use so much thread to cover this up so I just put it on top here two three four five six and then check so it landed in the middle like this and then I moist my finger and do it like this so I can see if I am satisfied with the position of the first wing and now I like it and uh, sometimes I put a little bit of angel hair silvery colors or in these ones if I'm going to use them uh, when the fish is uh, running upstream and uh, if I'm going to use it as a night fly or evening fly or early in the morning before it gets bright I don't put on any angel hair or anything just two wings and some uh, I forgot what these are called now but whatever I'm a little bit tired but it doesn't matter peacock Peacock hurls. And here I do the same as with a white wing. Brush away the fluff and the shorter strands. And this will be quite a big uh, sun ray. So I use quite a lot of soft black hair. And then I put these so the strands are next to each other and between my thumb and index finger. And spread it. And then I pulled in the middle on this one too until I'm satisfied with a taper and fewer and fewer strands. And then I have to have something held yeah, that looks good. And then we will do the same with this one, just check the length first. That is quite good. And now I will cut this straight in an angle as well. And then put this on top here. And wind this on. One, two, oh, I forgot the counting, but I will use quite a lot of turns to make this durable. And then check so the black lands in the middle. So we have equal amount of white 
showing here as on this side just because if you tie it symmetrically the the wings will help the fly to keel right to stay like you want it to with the wing on top so even though you tie a really bushy and uh, wide fly you should try to do it uh, with the symmetry with the symmet symmetric so the fly swims right when you attach the hook and everything because you don't want the fly to swim on the side or anything you want it to swim with the wing on top moving around and I think this looks quite good and moist my fingers again to see yeah, it looks good and now we'll take some peacock curls and see if we can find some long ones here we have four and I cut those off and then I try to put them between my fingers so they're all facing the same way and to get them a nice spread like this and then I put them on top I move the hole and make them a little bit longer than a loose turn and see if the spread is the way I want it like this and then I lock them in <laughs> with a few turns and then we check so they a little bit too short so I'm satisfied with that and then I moist my fingers again they could have been a little bit longer but this will do this one will swim nicely yeah that's good and cut away the waste and cut away some of the excess from the wings like this Let's see if it's straight I'm not totally satisfied with the peacock feathers but soon I will be that's better just pull them to where you want them to sit before you use the glue and now I will put the glue on the thread <coughs> and we will make a, a durable thread head with the, with the glue here and just wind it on even turns and don't go too far back because then the the wing will suck up glue and we don't want that we want glue to be just on the thread head and do it slowly and thorough and this when you use this much glue the the thread beneath where we put on the glue will also suck in some glue so it gets as durable as we can get it I use a lot of glue here because I want the orange to be the, uh, not to see the black, black uh, wing through the orange thread head so that's why I use quite a lot of turns here and like this I think it looks quite good and then I will cut this off with a scalpel when the glue has dried 
still not super satisfied with the peacocks, but it will do. Yeah, now I am. Don't touch them again. Leave them be. You're never fully satisfied with anything. I, I use when I'm from seventy percent satisfied with the flies I make and up. That's when I fish them. If I'm gonna sell some flies, I have to be eighty-five percent satisfied with them to to sell them. But 70% is enough for me to fish them. And then cut off the thread and let it dry a bit more. And then I will use this little scalpel to cut off the head around here. That's why it's good to use a little more glue on these ones. Because if you cut it off here, you don't want uh, dry thread underneath. Because in that case it can break. But if we use the glue so the thread sucks it up. And start pretty early with the glue and then we make a, a good uh, thread head. Then uh, you should be fine. So that's something to think about if you want to tie something like this. Okay, so it has, it can be somewhat dried already. So now I will use my scalpel and cut it here, just behind the little bump. So let's see, I can't have to do it down here, so Let's see if we can get it to look quite good. This was a dull, dull blade, but you will get the gist of it. And then I take it from the other way around and make sure that the hole is good. this. Now we have created a good looking head that otherwise would have been ugly. It's a strand I didn't like. So here it is. A sunray shadow uh, with an orange fluorescent uh, head made with a SSS thread, uh, fluorescent orange, and tied on a glow in the dark fits tubing in medium, so I can use it uh, during the night and, and all all around the 24 hours of the day and night. So I hope you liked it. And uh, I think it's very exciting uh, and uh, to fish these kind of flies, sun rays and stuff. And uh, yeah, if you want to follow my YouTube channel, uh, click on the photo here uh, of me. And or if you want to see another little film, click on this one. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you liked the, the tying. Goodbye.